Good morning, my name's Richard Lannan, rhymes with Canon, and today we're not doing a lot, actually. Uh, it's Sunday. Molly, both Molly and Sophie are not feeling very well. They have the common cold, and I'm trying to stay away, so it's inevitable. I may get it, unless everything works in terms of exercise, my immune system's strong, and maybe, just maybe, touch wood, Maybe I won't get it. So, uh, yeah, let's see. So, today is more of an in day. I will, basically, it's an office day. I've got lots of things to catch up on, so I will pretty much be here all day. I do, however, want to take a little break, and firstly, I need to have a shower and get a little bit uh, fresher than I am, as you can see, bedhead. Um, I'm very comfortable with you guys. I can actually, no problem sharing the bed head with you. Shower and then, as you've seen from today's title, I would like to show you how I put together that car mount and how it sort of works in the car, just in case it's of interest to you. Right, so we are now in the car. Unfortunately, Sophie now knows I'm getting in the car and had asked me to go to the shops. To do this mount setup, you will need a Joby Gorillapod. A weird kind of bracket thing. And a shoe mount that can connect to a ball head joint and just a random ball head um, that you, this came with the bracket thing. So it's in the description below, it's all there. but. Also, I should say, this mount is set up with no fixings, mainly for technically my car, which is an Audi A4, and it's an older model, so it's got this sort of a setback screen inside the dash. I don't think they even have this anymore on the new design, so I don't know if this setup would work. So it's a limited setup, but maybe the idea will help you find a place in your car to do this. But Effectively, what you do is you take the Joby, so this is the Joby Gorillapod 3K, not the 5K, not the 1K. So obviously the 3K, I wouldn't say the head, the ball head, there's, there's good and bad things about it, but yes, the 5K is probably better, and I would look to get one of those eventually, but I don't need the weight, so I can get away with the smaller overall pod, which I quite like. So this... And if you had two of these with the little bottom bit fitted into the bottom of the camera, you can quickly switch between the two. Then you basically fold this up into a weird position to try and get it to fix in. So you sort of hook it in and I'll show you. You'll basically start squeezing into a position like this. So I've run a couple of the legs down, one hooks up into there, I don't know if you can see that. And then the other one comes right around here. Sorry, got the mic in the way. Um, and then you can see here, item number two is this. So this bracket, which I've sort of got to do the job of this whole thing, but it turns out just didn't work. Um, so I've instead of wasting it, I've, I've run it through here and that allows me to just connect to this a little bit and squeeze on, then put a ball head joint on, and then connect with this part, which is, of course, the shoe mount that screws into the ball head joint, which then allows the mic to connect to this, and it's adjustable. So if I ever need to adjust the mic over slightly and bring it more towards the center of the car to capture audio from maybe the back, maybe someone sat here, and just sort of share it around the car rather than pointed, I aim it mainly at me. Just close enough so it's not in the way of the steering wheel, but close enough to my mouth that it can pick me up clearly. The whole thing is detachable, so you can take it completely out, you can use the pod still, and it's you sort of drop it in. You, you get quite good at it as well. I am now out of time, so I need to get out of here. I've got to get to the supermarket. I have 22 minutes until it closes. It's a Sunday, so supermarkets close at 4, so we need to go. And I made it with like 30 seconds to spare. It was very tense. I probably forgot absolutely everything. But they did have these. Ta-da. 
Okay. And share. And I'm not sharing. So, these are Skittles without the shell. Yet they seem a bit harder. I don't know why. Don't get me wrong, I like them. It's sweets at the end of the day. So, Molly's in bed, everyone's fed. Hey, rhymes. I'm gonna leave the vlog here because I'm only literally going to iron some shirts and do some other bits just before bed. I am having an early night and then we get to do this all again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Click the bell. Till next time.